Now let's look at the transition piece as the textbook gives it to us and asks us to do it. In other words, what I mean is that BA is given to us in that position. In other words, A being top, B being at the bottom. I've gone ahead, I've even drawn an isometric view for you guys so that we can follow. You can see A was given to us as top, B at the bottom. Right, I've done triangulation. ABC is the first triangle that I need to get. I know that AB straight height is 65. I know that the base from B to C in total is 65 divided by 2 gives me 32 and a half. So BC is 32 and a half. And therefore I can use the following. I'm going to determine the true length of AC. So what I've done is I've put my compass on point A, opened it to uh, point C, point opened it to A, dropped it to that position, dropped that one up to point A because A has moved to my left hand side and I've joined C with A, gives me 72 and a half millimeters. I need now to draw that triangle here which I'm going to do as follow. I am going to measure the true length, which is my 72,51, put my compass on point A and make myself an arc, an arc as you can see in that position. Then I'm going to draw that distance from B to point C, which I know is 32 and a half. Set my compass at 32, put it on point B, open it to C, get myself that position. I then draw a line from point A, which is my true length, to point C, and from B to point C, and that is it. So next part would be to add that red triangle on top of this one. We've got the links, we've got all the, all the labeled here, so the first thing I'm going to do is to measure the length of that one there. Right, that would be point D that I want to determine. So I'm going to determine AD, which is 15 millimeters, and draw my arc. The next length, I've got that length, which is CD, it's 67 millimeters, set my compass at 67, put it on point C, and draw my arc, which gives me that arc. I'm going to complete my triangle from A to D, from D to C, I've got my length, and I'm going to then say this is the triangle, and there is the total side. Next, I'm going to take this yellow triangle, that yellow one, which is DCF, DCF, and I'm going to fit it on DCF. So I've got the true length of DC already. I've got the true length of CF, CF is 65, and I've got, be it if it's given or being that you have to work it out, and I've worked out the true length of DF, which would have been 93 and a half. So here we go about it. So I'm going to draw the true length. DF, put it on D, draw that length, which is 93 and a half. Put my compass on C after I've set it to CF. There we go. I'm going to label it as point F. Then I'm going to draw in, draw in the true length. I'm going to draw in that side, and I've got my yellow um, triangle set. There we go. So now I've got that triangle. We're now going to look at triangle DEF, triangle DEF which would have been D, E, F, and on a triangular line there. And that needs to be placed on this yellow one, D, F line. So that D, F line is going to be the common line. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to draw our side, short side, which is D, E. We're going to draw the F, E side. We've got that length. We can work that length out by means of um, construction, we've done that. And then we can join the sides, label it as E, join that side, join that side, and then, and then I can place the, the hatching in so you can see how it fits, that triangle. And that gives me the total side, D, C, F, E, D, C, F, E, with all true links. Now I'm going to draw this blue 
highlight the triangle. You can see that I've done a triangulation. So I need to work out the true length of HF. So what I do is I take HF, I put my compass on F, I've dropped that one up to a line parallel to that one, I've dropped it up to a line because H has moved to the left hand side and I've joined F with that point, point to give me uh, point H and that is my true length. So that will be the true, true length that I have to measure to get the true length here. Once again you can label it here at the bottom so that you don't forget. Right, so let's go about it and do it. First of all, I'm going to measure EH. You can see EH. Then I'm going to measure FH. FH, which is that length there. I'm going to label it H, and I'm going to draw the triangle. There's my triangle, and I'm going to do the hatching thereof, which is then in that part. Okay, so I've got this blue one, which is triangle HFG. I'm going to place HF, as you can see, G. And this is how we go about it. I'm first going to determine the true length of HG, but it should be the same as EF, so you don't have to do a new construction. You can just make use of the old construction, which you've done previously. So right, I've got those links. And I've got the true length of GF, which is 65, which is given. So let's go about it. I'm going to draw my length with my compass at 65 millimeters, putting it on F, making my mark. And I'm going to make my other mark, which is H, um, G, the HG, which would be the same length as EF. I'm going to label it as point G, and I'm going to draw the triangle. I can hatch that triangle and... Um, there we go, and we've got the true size and true shape of F, G, H, E. F, G, H, E, which is now obscured by that etching. Right, which triangle then will, can we build on H, G? H, G, I uh, have point H there, I have point G there, and uh, the next, if I draw a triangle there, then I'm going to get G, I. Right, so I'm going to draw triangle I, H, G. So I've got, I'm going to draw this one H, G, I, and remember that all four of these sides is 30 millimeters, so I just know that these sides are 30 millimeters. Right, so I'm going to go about drawing my 30 millimeters H, I. I'm going to draw that one. There's my H, I. Draw the next one because I have the length of G, I. It's the same as F, D, which we had earlier on, which is 93 and a half. And I've made my mark, I'm going to label it as point I, there's point I, and um, I'm going to then draw the sides. There's the sides and there's the triangle. Let's hatch that triangle. There we go. Right, this green triangle, the darker one, which is going to be I, G, J. I, G is already there, so I need I, G, J. And uh, let's go about drawing that. We've got this length here. It's the same as CD or DC, which is 67. So I can measure 67 with my compass. And um, there we go. I can measure that base there. I know the base is 65. So I can measure the base. I'm going to label that. There we go. It's J. And I'm going to draw the sides into place. And if I then hatch that, I get this drawing here, and that gives me the true shape of I, H, G, J. I, H, G, J. True shape of that one, so true development of the thing so far. All that needs to do now to be drawn is this part here, at the back, that half to close it up with. I'm now going to do this one on this side. You can cannot see it, it's a flat side. So that's why I'm now showing you it on the isometric side. I'm going to do J, A, I. Yes, J, I already. So I need to find point A. So this is how we go about it. I'm going to measure I, A, which is 15 millimeters in length. I know that because this is 30, half of it is 15. So I've got that one. Now I'm going to measure the length of A, J. It would be the same as the previous one when I measured that length. 
AC, which would have been 72.51. So I'm going to measure that 72.51, putting my compass on J, and I get that arc. I'm going to label it as point A. I'm going to draw my triangle, and if I hatch that, this is what I get, and that's the triangle. Last little part is this darker side, which is J, B, A. I've already got J, A. J, A, those two triangles must fit on top of one another. So I'm going to draw the triangle from point J to point B, from B to A to complete this drawing. So there's my length of J, B, which is half of 65. There's the length, the true length of BA. BA, BA, you've got the length of BA is 65, and I'm going to complete my triangle. After I've labeled that point, point B, complete the triangle. There we go, and if I then hatch that drawing, this is what it would look like, and I am done. That is the total development.